So behind me right here, I have a Suron and my ramp. This might be the best ramp for a Suron. I'm not even kidding. We drag it all the way from down over there to here. A pretty good speed. Oh my God, my bike had no throttle. I hit the brake and I went to hit the gas. Watch that clip. The people over at Mountain Bike Hopper sent me over a ramp. I've been seeing a lot of people use these in their videos. This thing looks sick. Ooh, this thing's looking nice. Yo! <laughs> we got a portable ramp on us right now. Bro, we could probably hook this thing up to the Suron and just mob around. Just tow it. And it's light. This thing like obviously weighs nothing. Fasten the rope to the hook. All terrain. Ooh, I have not ridden this thing in a minute. Ooh. Dude, it feels nice. Like, I'm be honest, like, it, the way it feels, like, it feels good. So I guess I'll just start slower and slower and slower, right? This ramp is meant to be on uneven surfaces, which is why they have those legs there. So it can pretty much adapt to anything. You can bring it anywhere. It's light, easy to move. It's easy to assemble once you understand how it works. So I think there's only one thing left to do. We're going to start off small, obviously, all right? I want you guys coming after me. And then we'll start sending stuff bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, dude, it is so smooth. Yeah, a perfect lip. I just don't whip left, so it's weird for me. There we go. That's it. Bring this back up. So now we got the tallest setting. Hey, now we're talking though, dude. Look at that thing. Yo, this looks way too good. I don't really care if you cry. I don't really shouldn't. Come through from up here. Oh yeah. Dial. How'd that look? <laughs> Dial. That was that was perfect. <laughs> yeah, dude, I think you gave it at the very end. That's so fun. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. And I'm that's alright. It's our all right. Let's all day you ride a sled. I have a microfiber on the, the seat. I mean, hey, I'm pulling it at a pretty good speed. Like, actually, like a pretty good speed. Yeah, dude. Like, like, we're going 12 miles an hour. I'm bringing this massive ramp with me. It actually worked. Yeah. I was going 15. Dude, it worked perfect. Yeah. Because, dude, that's, a food. that's taking me to the moon. Ooh. And we'll just have to make sure no cars come through. Yeah, just push it in. Oh no, we did. Yeah, we dragged it all the way from down over there to here. Are you yeah. for the field? Right here. I'm going to jump from right here into that. Yep. Bro, that's going to be way too easy. We might have to put it up after I hit it a few times. Let me feel it out first. First attempt. Holy. That, big. that was pretty big. <laughs> it did not look small. That launched me way more than I was expecting. That's sick. Oh my gosh. My bike had no throttle. I hit the brake and I went to hit the gas. Watch that clip. No way, dude. I hit the throttle and it had no response. <laughs> 
See, keep the thrill seekers nice and safe. That's it. Look at that, boys. I could get, yeah, like you're saying, like we could probably get a bungee, wrap it around a few times, but this ought to do the trick. And just like that, boom. What do you know? We, we got it set up. I put a little wood under here for a little more support. Yeah, there, there. We'll just keep it going until it's a fun, it's a fun length. Nice. So obviously we technically don't need this ramp right here because like we got two lips right here. The whole point is just, you could bring it wherever you want, you know? Urban, non-urban, so grass hill or anything, and it works on uneven surfaces, so it's dialed, like it's just fun. This is a cool thing to have. The rain's coming in. This is the last jump of the day. Feel it, hey, feel it, because the wheels are the only thing that's like Good. solid, right? I think it'd be cool to jump up and then wheelie. <laughs> yeah, sick, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think I could probably land into a wheelie. Oh if anyone's gonna hit this ramp, it's gonna be this bro right here. Yes. And it's a chick driving it? Yo. Oh. Oh. And see, I want to I want to be able to wheelie it. Bro. You're good on this side. I can't see that side. Ah, you came up way too short. Yes, I got it. Oh, almost just eject Osito cuz down this hill. Did you land and then you went to wheelie? I landed in a wheelie. No way. Yeah, I didn't let it touch the ground. Not bad. Not bad, not bad. I don't know if my throttle's going out. Look at that. Okay, look at Then it engages. So if my wheel moves back a tiny bit, like that. Look at it. You see that? Okay, so my wheel has to be moving forward for it to go. But, I feel like I didn't do that before, but... I don't know. If you guys know what that is, let me know. It's kind of sketchy riding it like that. When I hit the hip over the street, my, my friend has started dropping because I went to hit it, give it gas. I went to give it gas and it wasn't it wasn't doing it. So look, move my wheel back a tiny bit. Look at that. So it doesn't go when I go backwards. That's a new throttle. Maybe I need a new throttle. I don't even know where to get them to be honest. So if you guys could help me out, I'd greatly appreciate it. We gotta go, bro. The rain's about to destroy us. You guys wanna hit this? What up? Dude, it ain't that bad. Yeah. Yeah, all day. Yeah, it's just flat. Yeah, that's easy. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that is going to be the end of the video. I want to give a huge shout out and a huge thank you to mountainbikehopper.com. Mountain Bike Hopper actually makes all sorts of different sizes for ramps. They're not only for a Suron. They have all sorts of stuff. So if you guys ride mountain bikes, dirt jumpers, whatever you guys, you guys name it. You can even jump a dirt bike off this thing. I have not done that yet. Maybe I will in the future. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But I will say for a portable ramp, this is probably the best it's going to get for a surround. So if you guys are interested, go to mountainbikehopper.com. I'm going to link them down below. This is the Area 51 ramp if you guys are interested. You guys can check it out on their website. I'll leave them linked below in the description. They make all sorts of different sizes for ramps from super small kickers all the way up to this. I think they do have one that's a little bit taller than this. So if you guys have any crazy ideas, let me know. I'd be stoked to do them. I'd be stoked to try. I'm always looking for new things to do. So with that being said, guys, hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas and a happy new year. I haven't uploaded here on a minute. Hope you guys have all your goals written down for 2023 and hope you guys all accomplish them. Thank you so much for watching this video, supporting my channel. I appreciate every single one. I will see you guys in my next video.